Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. So it is our day four, if I'm not mistaken, of our Hong Kong adventure. So I have very wonderful surprise because we are going to another outlet mall. I'm going to put the name here. So I'm very excited. Again, what very beautiful eye candies, bag, shoes, accessories, and ready to wear that we are going to see. So I'm inviting you guys to make sure you stay tuned until the end of our episode. Hi guys, Ron here, Suking Budgetary and Fashionista. I publish blogs every Wednesdays and Saturdays about the latest about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, hauls, and unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you all guys to join our ever-growing family by clicking this cute little icon here. So please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account. It's at Ramirify2 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Alright guys, so we have just reached our destination from the train station. So now we are going to do a 12 minute walk going to the Horizon Plaza. So the Horizon Plaza, that is like you would have um, outlet shops, like 12 floors. And I'm so excited to see what we have. The last time that we've been here, I was able to purchase my Moschino shoe bag. So I'm excited to see new stuff from the outlet store. Okay, bye-bye. So follow. So here are the store guys. So we have Max Mara, we have Boss, we have Lane Crawford. Hopefully we can see it there. So actually it is Chinese holiday today. So for my Chinese hubby, Kung Hei Pat Choi, if you're watching. So we are going to start at fourth floor where they have their gamo. Then we are going to work our way up. And they are so exciting. Yeah. So some shops today are closed, but um, the reception said that most would be open tomorrow. So we'll just check what we have. So they said that Ferragamo is open. Oh no, Ferragamo is closed. Closed? Oh, just look at the beautiful bags here. We'll go to the next floor. Oh wow, this is nice guys. Just look. Very huge studio bag. Guys, unfortunately everything is closed. So we have Mark Jacobs back here. Oh. Ah no, let's go now. So guys, we have already checked two floors here. Unfortunately, since it's the first day of Chinese New Year, Lunar Chinese New Year, most of the shops here are closed. Oh, it's so sad. So um, the lady at the reception said that tomorrow everything will be open. So we're just going to check one more floor and call it a day if everything is closed. Then we are going to go to a different venue. At least we've seen um, how to go here. So hopefully... Um, I don't know. So let's check. Let's check. We are now on the 22nd floor. I think there's one store open. What's that? Uh, just look at this store, guys. So they have these amazing brands. Oh no, we picked the wrong day. This is so sad. Just look at this. Look at the ready to wear pieces, and we have huge sale. Oh. So we're going down, we're going to go to a different venue, change location. Oh. 
Hi guys, so we have arrived at our next destination. They're calling this the Kowloon Walled City. So it's like a garden. So we are going to maybe take a walk. Um, it's a little bit far from the train station, like around 12 to 15 minute walk. So let's see what we could find here. So maybe this is a good place to recharge, just you know, away from the bustling city. So I'm just resting for a while. My feet are very tired, but let's see what we can find here. Wow, how beautiful this park is. Just look at this structure, this architecture. We are so lucky that we found this place after the failed shopping that we did a while ago. So here I'm just showing you my OOTD for today. So I am wearing my Louis Vuitton Alma in a P, size is PM. I'm wearing Balenciaga pants. I'm wearing padded leather shoes. And for the top, I have designed myself. So here's another view of the walled city. So guys, I think um, the walled city previously, there. this is like, you know, um, buildings were like structures like condominiums as you could see here that people lived in however i'm not really sure what the story why they have destroyed it and transformed it to this one so i'm guessing that they have relocated the people to a different location maybe to a different housing location here beautiful places where we have done some reels and done some ootds Hello. You got smoke? No. <laughs> Alright, so it's time for the Chinese New Year parade. It's the first day of Chinese New Year here. That is why most of the establishments are closed. Just look where they have held the parade this is what there's this nathan road one of the main avenues of the city they have closed the entire nathan road so that they could do this very festive chinese new year parade so we are so lucky to be able to witness this um, celebration here at hong kong so we have you know street performers like this how gorgeous is this one honestly i think the parade lasted for three hours so we were standing for the entire three hours we are a little bit tired but with these kinds of celebration it's so festive how could we not stay for the party <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to day 5 of our Hong Kong adventure. So I'm not really sure what we are going to find for today. I don't want to make any promises because like for example with day 4 yesterday we went to Horizon Plaza Outlet Mall. But since it's the first day of New Year, it's closed. So I'm not going to promise you anything for today. But what I can promise you is we are going to make it fun and you know, um, very touristy for today. But guys, still. I know this is not part of the shopping vlog, but I would appreciate it if you could stay until the end of our episode.
guys, um, we are going to the Hong Kong Zoo and Botanical Garden. So we are going to check it out. Guys, oh my god. We're here at the Zoological and Botanical Garden. It's quite a walk from the MDR station. <sighs> that was a little bit surprising because according to the ways, the direction is just around 10 minute walk but holy crap, that's such a workout. Anyway, we're here. Let's see what we could find. The sun is out. Temperature is rising compared to the other day. So to be honest, I love I would love it more if it's not sunny at all. But anyway, let us enjoy. So guys, anyway, reset. So I just refresh, like freshen up a bit. So we're here at Hong Kong Zoological and Botanical Garden. So here we are. A very beautiful, clean park. Although the weather as of the moment, um, as mentioned earlier, the temperature is rising, the sun is out. This is our fifth or sixth day here so during our first time here temperature was very good sun it's very cloudy it's very dark and gray the weather that i really wanted but hey we're here so let us enjoy so here are some sceneries at the Hong Kong Zoo and Botanical Garden. First, we have this very beautiful bamboo garden. We were able to take amazing photos and reels. Kindly follow me on Instagram to check these amazing photos and reels. I will be posting it really soon. So they have aviary here. They have lots of birds, lots of animals. So we have this. I think this here, is the crane. This is the flamingo. Uh, this is the first time that I'm seeing this bird, how beautiful they are. Unfortunately, we are not able to come a little bit closer. Then this is the botanical garden located at the same location. This is so amazing, guys. If you love flowers, if you are if you love plants just like me definitely you are going to enjoy this place this entire zoo and botanical garden guys is open to the public and it's for free how amazing right So we are currently at the Landmark Mall, guys. But this is not our final stop of the day. But there are so many beautiful window displays that I would like to show you. So currently, we are checking the very beautiful bags here at Versace. Super pretty. So after 
after the botanical garden, we have decided to go to the prison yard and the antique streets, and we were able to ride this very long walkalator or escalator here in Hong Kong. Because, guys, the reason maybe you are wondering why I'm a little bit you know, gasping for breath a while ago is because most of the slopes here at the central part in Hong Kong it is inclined so it's like you're always going up hills like you're always climbing the mountain so that's why um, Hong Kong is very generous for giving this structure this walkalator or escalator to everyone here so we have enjoyed this part over here so this is where we're going so we're going to the prison yard so this is the entrance to the prison yard also I would just like to share so the prison yard this is an actual prison before here in Hong Kong then they have transformed everything into a museum and different restaurants so I'm not again really sure where they have relocated the prison so let me show you more activities that we could do here inside So we are in a prison hall exhibition, guys. So this is a detour. We were not expecting this. We kind of got lost, but we found ourselves in another exhibition. So let's check it out. this looks beautiful so currently I'm at Zara and they still have their end of season sale and I found this button down shirt with pair of pants and oh my god it's heavily discounted I tried it on so the pants are a little bit loose but don't worry I could do a fix so this is a definite yes and I'll be adding this to my collection I'm so happy because this is my first purchase here in Hong Kong yay Hey guys, I got it! So I'll show it on our unboxing reveal at the end of the vlog. Alright, let us start first with this very beautiful Fendi baguette. Price is 20960 It is made of the very beautiful canvas. And then we have this APC toast for around 1000 HKD. So if you're looking for a good travel tote, we have denim version. Here I am trying it on. So what do you think guys? Again guys, the reason why I'm just showing photos is because my battery almost died on me this day. So here we have an APC tote made of fall leather if I'm not mistaken. When I've touched this, then we have this very beautiful Fendi by the way tote in all leather. How beautiful. And guys, please take note that the prices that I am sharing to you are the sale price all of these bags are brand new so they are located at this the name of the store is twist it's located just right across our hotel here in hong kong so they have this very beautiful ysl bag they have this very beautiful fendi tote in their classic fendi monogram then they have the balenciaga for sixteen thousand nine hundred fifteen hkd then how beautiful is this very Fendi Sunshine tote bag for 11,000 HKD as a sale price. They also have the leather version of the Chloe Woody tote bag. Then they have the Moschino leather tote bag. That is the price. Although guys, some of the prices at these stores are a little bit more pricier compared to for example, you're going to purchase online or direct from the store. So that's just my key reminder on this episode so we have 12,300 adult version of the low of a puzzle bag and how cute and beautiful are these teeny wanda bags from ferragamo then for 22.5 hkd we have this bag from gucci made of canvas with leather trims more gucci bags so this is the blondie for 12,285 hkd then we have this pillow tabby for 4463 the 4000 that is already the sale price 
Then we have the soft tabby for 4,463 sale price. That is why I feel that the prices of some of their bags are a little bit more expensive. Then we have this very beautiful all leather tote bag from Fendi. Price is 13,000. 80 HKD. So this is going to be perfect for your work bag even as a travel tote. Then we have another Fendi Sunshine tote for 7,000 HKD. This one I have thus it is made of all canvas then one part the front part is sprayed on so i'm not actually liking the texture and feel of that sprayed on paint then we have this uh, another coach tab co coach soft tabby bag then we have this bag for 5370 i i'm not really sure again what's the brand of this one then we have the prada for 15500 hkt then we have Mulberry bag for 8,640 HKD. How beautiful are these colorway? Then we have this Alexander McQueen shoes for 2,000 HKD. Hi guys, so we are still in Hong Kong. It's the second day celebration of Chinese New Year. So we are going to the Victoria Harbor and there are so many people right now going to the harbor and the fireworks will be starting around 8 p.m. So let's see if we can still get a little bit closer. So here is the crowd now guys going to the harbor. So we are at Nathan Road near our hotel. So we are just walking towards the harbor right now. And wow, sea of sea of people. enjoyed our episode for today if you have stayed with me until this part of this episode kindly leave me a firework emoji i would really appreciate it thank you so guys i'm inviting you all to please join our ever going fan there's a good little icon here so please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family please like and share this video and follow me on my new instagram account at atramir52 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me so i would see you guys soon on our next hong kong vlog please stay safe i will see you all soon bye